I'm Liz Heard, the admissions manager from Shrewsbury Colleges Group. So I'm just hoping to give you quite a whistle stop um, tour and short presentation about the college and um, what we do offer. Uh, so Shrewsbury Colleges Group made off up of um, the old Shrewsbury Sixth Form College and Shrewsbury College of Arts and Technology. We merged about four years ago now. Um, so we now offer the academic route, which is A-levels, which you can obviously go on to university, apprenticeships or professional jobs. Uh, vocational route, we offer lots and lots of vocational courses as well, which can also lead you on to university jobs or higher apprenticeships. And we also have the technical route. So if you want to be a professional cook or um, other things like that, or uh, into a job or an apprenticeship as well. So we've got three campuses. Um, each campus offers, offers specialist teaching facilities, um, up to state-of-the-art um, labs, um, and so just moving on quickly. The A-level program, you would normally choose three A-levels or the equivalent, and we do have a really wide choice of A-levels, uh, probably the largest choice of A-levels in the county. So students would either choose three or two A-levels and one single subsidiary diploma. Sometimes students do choose to do four A-levels. This is dependent on your grades that you're either predicted or what you actually get. As alongside your A-level programme, you'd also be part of a tutor group led by a specialist student support tutor and also get involved in other activities such as um, your favourite sport, could be football, rugby, hockey and netball, uh, music, we have a music and dramatic arts society, additional qualifications such as the um, extended project qualification, and we also run programmes for students who want to go into medicine or dentistry, mid midwifery, or the Oxbridge programme. So at the Welsh Bridge campus, this is the subjects that are offered there. Some of them may be new to you, some of them may be what you've uh, done before. You may have to choose specific A-levels for a specific career route. For instance, if you did want to go to medicine, dentistry, you're going to be looking at biology, chemistry and one other. Um, but there could be new subjects there for you, like uh, geology or psychology, sociology could be new. Um, also at the Welsh Bridge campus, we offer the subsidiary diploma equivalent one A-level in applied science, health and social care and IT. There's also an extended diploma, the equivalent of three A-levels in applied science. At the English Bridge campus, more A-levels. These are what we say are the more creative subjects. So it could be doing photography or an art A-level, film studies, um, PE, politics. But there's also a level three extended diplomas in the art courses are based at English Bridge as well. So the Art and Design Level 3 Extended Diploma, if you've got a real passion for art and design, and then the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Photography or Fashion. Now, just because the A-levels are on the English and Welsh Bridge campus, there's no reason at all why you can't take any combination of subjects from either of these campuses. So if you want to do geography with history and music, there's no reason at all why you can't do that. The campuses are about 10 minutes apart, and you just walk between the campuses you get ample time on your timetable to allow you to do this. At the London Road campus, this is where all our vocational courses are based. And again, the huge range of choices there for you want, that you may want to do. Construction and construction trades, such as brickwork, carpentry, electri electrical installation, painting, decorating, and plumbing. Uh, some of these courses may start at level one because you have to learn the basics before you can go to level two and three. And there's also things like motor vehicle, performing arts, and public uniform services. Do realise I'm rattling through this. All of this information is on our website. So don't worry if you're not picking it all up in one go. Just check the website or have a look at the prospectus that we've delivered to, to your school. So vocational courses, a little bit different to A-levels. They involve practical theory and independent learning. You may have to go and work experience. Uh, take part in workshops. Normally, when COVID is not around, you can take part in competitions and go to skill shows at the NEC as well. So if you like hands-on practical work, then the vocational route may be for you. If you like more classroom-based, uh, the A-level programmes or two-year courses with exams at the end. So you have to think about how you like to learn. 
We also offer a wide range of apprenticeships as well. Normally apprenticeships, you have to find your own work placement and then you apply to the college um, to do your one day a week or so in college as well. So the apprenticeships, the best way to find out about these is through the National Apprenticeship website. Uh, you can have a look and see what vacancies there are in the area and then apply for that apprenticeship and then also get in touch with us at the college and we'll keep you in touch about how you take the next steps. Some of you may think to yourself, well, how am I going to get from Telford to Shrewsbury? We do offer, offer subsidised bus transport from Telford and trains. So the college bus, we have a college bus that picks up and drops off at set times every morning and picks up in an evening after the last lesson. So your route from Telford would pick up a bus station in Telford, the Parade in Don Donington and Wellington bus station, and drop off at either the London Road campus, the English Bridge campus or the Welsh Bridge campus. After college, the buses pick up and drop off in the opposite direction. There's also the public bus service, so the Arriva Bus Midlands Student Saver Scheme. They offer a termly or full year subsidised bus pass, and that gives you unlimited travel across the West Midlands uh, seven days a week. So from Telford, that's the X4 and X5 routes to Shrewsbury. If you decide to travel by train, lots of our students do, you can get discounted rail tickets. The Student Saver Scheme can give you up to 55% off the adult rate. And that gives you unlimited travel on a specified route seven days a week. All of the detailed information, including the prices, are on our website. Or do contact our student services team at any of our campuses. So the subsidised train transport, uh, the stations are all the way from Wolverhampton through the normal train stops, stopping at Telford Central, Oaken Gates, Wellington and Shrewsbury. So student services, I mentioned, they're here to help you with that transport um, and any costs that are involved. That may be, when it mentions their uniform, there's obviously no uniforms at Sixth Form College um, or the London Road campus, but um, there may be uniforms for things like chefs or the hairdressing may need some type of uniform as well. Um, and they can also help you with travel costs. You can get a bursary that helps you with your transport costs as well. If you have free school meals now, that continues in, in college. Uh, if you have access arrangements for exams, if you have extra time in exams, that continues in college as well. Um, and your health and well-being is very important to us as well. So we have college counsellors um, to help you with any emotional support you might need, as well as our student support tutors. Uh, every single student has a student support tutor who they meet with, up with on a weekly basis. We also have an agency. These help you um, organise work experience uh, for specific career intentions. Um, we have a job shop which advertises part-time jobs for students. They can help you with career planning. They can get you involved in your favourite sport, your enrichment activity that you want to be involved in, maybe the Duke of Edinburgh Award, and also get you onto the Oxford and Cambridge programme as well. So some of our success stories, we did very well um, at our A-level students, got 99.9% um, of A-level students passed in 2020, with 58% of those A-star to B grades. So we had a 100% pass rate for vocational students, with 85% of those getting the higher grade of distinction merit merit plus. So some of our success stories, so from Charlton School, we had Aidan, Emma and Matthew, Aidan did exceptionally well with four A stars and has gone on to study physics with astrophysics at the University of Manchester. And Emma, AAB, um, gone on to Liverpool St John Moore University. And Matthew has gone on to Loughborough University to do electronic and electrical engineering. And also we've got Izzy, got three distinction stars, BTEC in fashion. And Paul with three distinction stars, BTEC IT and Ellen, three distinction stars in BTEC Health and Social Care, and has gone on to do paramedic science in the University of Lincoln. And from Arklewood, we have Charles, two A stars and two A's, and has gone to do medicinal and biological chemistry at University of Nottingham. 
Jessica onto Aberystwyth University, International Politics and Global Development, and Eden, Troy Starvin and A, Law with Politics at the University of Manchester, some fantastic success stories here. And from Hadley HLC, we've got Shannon, three distinction stars in sports coaching and development, who's gone off to the University of South Wales. Sana, distinction star, graphic communication illustration, gone on to Loughborough. And Sophie, distinction star, graphic design at Coventry University. So well done, all of those uh, students. Key dates for your diary. We have had our virtual open evenings, but there are links on our website, which you can click onto right now and hear from our tutors, hear about the courses and the content. So that is all on our website. Subject tasters, we've got a virtual event, book now for those, 21st of November, Saturday morning. So for A-levels and vocational arts, um, book onto those, you can click on any of those subjects. Some of the lessons are actually live, some of them have been pre-recorded. And the week beginning the 24th of November for vocational courses, you can take part again in either a live or recorded subject taster session. This is a great way to find out more about your course and see if it is really what you want to do. Every student that applies will have an interview. At the moment, we're starting off with telephone interviews, very much like we finished last year. But everybody, as I say, is will have an interview from a tutor. Interviews are starting in early December and we continue throughout the year but it's best for A-levels to apply by February half term as some of these A-level courses do get very full. So we did have some students miss out on last year on some of the courses they wanted to do. So even if you're not 100% sure of what you want to do, get your application in early so they can get your interview done and get an offer on the table for you. I think we just move on now quickly to a video and then that should be... Uh, This, I don't think we're, I don't think we're getting the audio on that video there. Liz, I don't think we're I don't think the, the video is coming through for us. I don't think we're we're getting the audio off it. All right, so the video's not working. I'll just come out with that then, shall I then, Oliver? Yeah, yeah, no worries. I, I think I think they get the message though. I think they're okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So uh just move on one more. So 
Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, everything that I've mentioned tonight is on our website. So please, please do, do not hesitate to contact the admissions team um, or the, and just have a look on the website for our email address or our telephone numbers. Um, and if there's anything else you want to know, as I said, please don't hesitate to contact us.